Welcome back. Today we are doing a Lixi Poo with some ink. But I got a special one for you today. Dun 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 dun. Like, gee, I have never saw that kind of packaging before. Neither have I. Anyway, it's called, I believe it's Sumi ink. Uh, if you look at the packaging, it's like a faux wood. And I believe this is Japanese writing. Front, side, nada. Other side, nada. The back, focus. It says four fountain pens, 55 milliliter. Is it, okay, I probably butcher this, but I apologize. Joy, Jaco, purple. And underneath, uh, and the other thing I could read is I'm made in Japan. I bought this on um, VanessePins.com. I go to there every so often to see what's new, kind of scroll around, and I ran across this. I was like, interesting. Open it up, a little octagon like here. Let's pull this bad puppy out. Oh, isn't that pretty? And inside has a little instructional paper. I don't know if I'm holding it upside down or not. If so, I apologize. I cannot read this. I uh, tried to download a oh, an app. Uh, my um, little notepad to uh, translate it. But it didn't work for me. So um, if anybody could help me translate some of this, I'd really much appreciate it. That's all that's in there. That's it. Let's take a look-see-poo at this bottle. Look how pretty that is. Pictures don't do this little bottle justice. 55 milliliter ink. And here we go. Let's go off to our cool little paperwork here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll come in a little bit closer. Uh, okay, Simi Ink. Um, I apologize for my pronunciations of some of this stuff. Curitake uh, is uh, right here. That's how I found it on Venice. And that's what they call the ink. But on the box it said... Uh, Sumi ink. So I don't know what is what, but I call them both the name for it. Okay, and uh, Jaco Purple. It comes in a bottle. Uh, it's a very dark purple. As you can obviously see, it's almost black like. Most of this stuff is what I pulled off of their site. Um. It has a musky scent, and I was like, um, um, yeah, we'll try it, what the hey. And anyway, I cracked the bottle open, I was like, yeah, it's a little musky. <laughs> but, which is funny, it dissipates, it doesn't last forever, so I'm recording this uh, day after I use it, so I cannot smell it myself. So, it's a limited edition run, supposedly. Uh, it says, uh, a thousand bottles. Um, then underneath, right here, what should I put? Oh, I used it in an Edison Nouveau pen, a broad nib. That's why it's probably going to take a little bit longer to dry. Here's my little Nouveau pen. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, and of course, it took a long time to dry. I did them in five second intervals. So I'm sitting there and counting, 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 counting. Na, 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 na. Yeah. I get this bad boy a full minute to dry. So uh, if you're a left-handed writer, I would not really recommend this ink for you. Plus I used it in a broad nib. So anyway, and of course the ink is made in Japan. Let's get that to the side. Show you my pen that I used. I don't know if you can see it. Focus, focus, focus. Please focus. Broad nib. 
Yeah. You can still smell the muskets when it's wet. But when it dries, it dissipates after a while. And anyway, um, I did my little water drop test on a different piece of rodeo paper. And it's just a smaller piece of paper, you know, on the little notepad one. And if you look on it, it did lift some of it. But yeah, if you needed to uh, see it, um, like after you threw some water on it on accident, and then tr yeah, you could definitely see it again. So that's it's pretty good. Stayed on my hand for a while. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, apparently people like signing their names, so I just put name, and then they blotch it with ink, I guess, so you can show off the ink in all its glory, and yeah, the camera's picking it up. See that, Sheen? But those were like bubbles of ink just sitting on it. But yeah, it can Sheen. But I think almost any ink can Sheen if you gobbled it on. But hey. I just figured I'd try it just to some of y'all like that stuff all right now let's take my little swatch here on my Bristol paper that I cut up into a uh, size of business cards to hold it in my folder and I put the names down and the color of the ink and there's my swatching with the my little paintbrush you could definitely tell it is a very dark purple all right y'all I hope you guys like this. Uh, I wouldn't really call it ink review. Because ink reviewers do a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't. But anyway, I just had to show you this. Is this or is this not a gorgeous bottle? Alright. Hope you guys like this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you love it, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, put them down below. Are you going to help me decipher some of this writing? I'd be really appreciated. If, and you can put that down there too. Because... Um, any kind of information helps, especially other people that want to buy it and try it out themselves. And like I said, there's a, I'm kind of confused if it, is it a thousand bottles of this ink color? Or is it a thousand bottles of all the ink? I, I don't know, but I would advise, you know, just grab one bottle. They had four colors, I believe. One's like a yellowish color. Uh, it doesn't say. They didn't have no samples on it. And that's why I'm kind of doing this. To show you guys. If you guys decided to get the purple. This is what you're going to get. And they had a green one. And a black one. So there's four colors. And of course like I said. I picked this up at venicepins.com. Um, and uh, go check it out there. Alright. Hope you guys like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch y'all later. Bye.